Didi offered me a story which was the story about how this story went public. And this is, of course, the most interesting thing because uh, we knew it, we knew it all from the moment on it went out. But what we don't know and what we did not know is who are these people? Who are Megan Thuey, Jody Cantor? What did this whole investigation start? How, wh what were the problems they encountered? And, um, and what did it take for them to get to the point to push at the very end uh, the button and publish it? <laughs> I read it breathlessly, like a thriller. And uh, even though I knew they will get to the point that they would be able to publish, I, I, it was a page turner and, and, uh, and I couldn't stop reading. It was not only about, you know, all the twists and turns and setbacks of the investigation. It was about something more. It was about, you know, two women teaming up, not knowing each other. Um, dealing with something so incredibly intimate and uh, and the script also you know focuses a lot on the difficulty to 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 get women to tell their stories and the survivors and um, also focus on their stories and um, what it took to go on the record and how difficult it was. And it's, um, yes, I was, I was moved and taken and hooked by basically every single aspect of the script and honored <laughs> and very grateful to be asked to be a part of it. A film can um, concentrate on the spaces between the words that there's maybe silence between the words, that there's maybe doubt, that there are feelings, that there are, that there's joy, you know, the movie comes in and, and lifts it from the pure factual information of the book. It, it, it almost goes into creating something again. And, um, and what we wanted to create was obviously, um, the experiences of Megan and Jody going on to this journey and teaming up and what it meant for them. And while the witnesses and, and, and the survivors, you know, entrusted them with telling their stories, Megan and Jody now entrusted us, the filmmakers, to also include the other side of their lives into the movie, the, um, the private side, the personal side, which is completely left out um, in the book, which is, you know, what did it mean for them as working mothers investigating a story like that? This is a true story. Every character in the movie is a living person. Every character has the name of that living person. And uh, how odd would it be seeing a different person playing Ashley Judd? Ashley Judd is uh, one of the most famous, <laughs> renowned Hollywood actresses. And, um, and I think it's also a wonderful aspect um, of this film that with her appearance, while other characters are played by, by actors. It's almost like tearing down the fourth wall in a theater. It's almost like a hybridity, you know? This is not only a reenacted feature film, there, here is a piece of realness, a face, a, a person who, who portrays herself that is something very unique and 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 wonderful and and I was so I was so amazed by Ashley Judd um, how she you know had obviously processed what had happened to her her 
her inner calmness, her decisiveness to do that. A moment I specifically love is when Megan and Lenny Davis sit in the empty cantina after this intense dialogue and she just received this crucial information that Harvey Weinstein at least, you know, paid out eight to 12 women. And instead of uh, feeling triumph or, you know, wanting to leave and share this with Jody, we have these two people looking out the window, looking onto the world, and there is some kind of mutual sadness. There are these almost tired opponents realizing we are both in the same world. We are living in the same world. This kind of, you know, other layer, this human layer. This is, I was so happy about <laughs> How they, how they played the scene. This was, uh, um, this is a crucial moment for me because I think this is what makes us human. 